today I have got my best friend Nikki Reed here. She is a celebrity makeup artist. She's been doing it for years and years. She's done makeup with the Logies, apart from all else. But she's made up so many amazing, Olivia Newton-John, like everybody, everybody you can even think of, all the musical theatre people, everyone. Lucy? Yes, know? Lucy, every, all the musical <laughs> theatre people will know her. So today she's going to be doing makeup of Daenerys from the Game of Thrones. And I, I know nothing about makeup. You know, I go to Nikki when I want that. So she's going to teach me how to do this special eye here. Yeah, and this is Sophie here. So I think she looks a little bit like Amelia. She does actually. She does, doesn't she? Yeah. So what I'm going to do... Can you make this really easy? I'm going to make it as easy right. as peasy. Right. So, and it should take you about five minutes and I'm going to show you a great trick today. So what I've got, I've got my Natural Eyes by Sex Cosmetics. I love this product because it's a one-stop shop. It's got, as you can see, I love these colours I've been using. Them. One, two, three, four. For the girls at home that don't know how... Is that how the base fit this bit? This is your base and that goes mm -hmm. over the whole eye. What we want to do with um, Daenerys today is keep her really nice and natural. So I've chosen this kit. And here we go. So what we do... Now everybody, don't be alarmed that she's got amazing long lashes and you haven't got them because you <laughs> secretly put false eyelashes on before. I'll tell you the I tricks of the trade. But she, so yeah, because... So I put a few base on. Yeah. I've also done a little bit of shaping. I will teach you one thing. I did a little bit of shaping with her eyebrow here. And I've just grabbed a kit from Saks. These sell for $14.95, so it's not an expensive outlay. Perfect brow. Okay, and I love this little colour here one here. So, so it's got pretty good eyebrows anyway. So what I've done, I've built it in here closer to the nose and you can see how it gives a lot more strength to the eye. So, and then I get my brush and I shade it on there and just strengthen it up. So I did do that before to, to save some time. And do you start from that bit like at the corner of the eye? I always do. I always do. I take my pencil and I go up and up. You can usually see, bring it in a little bit closer. If you've got a, um, a quite a slim nose, don't go in too close. because I don't have a slim nose. No, you've got a beautiful nose. Oh, I'm staying this one. I'm not changing it now. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to dust the eye here with number one. I've got my fluffy brush. And we just give it a light little dust. This is fun having you here, Lexi. No, no, see? Everybody, Nikki's actually going to be doing her own videos. This is just her first ever YouTube video, really. I'm a, little, I'm, a, I'm a little bit nervous. She was. So <laughs> we jumped in and I'm introducing her to you because I want you to start watching her videos and you'll love them. She's yeah. going to do a whole series of like how to do different things. Yeah, I'd love to teach yeah. you all the tricks behind the scenes. So this one is number two. This is your shader in your contour. So as you can see through here, this is called a socket line. And the socket line is just, yeah, now I'm going to drag it out a bit further there. Can you see that? And what that does is make Soph eye come out mm. a lot further. And I'll show you, and put it right into her nose there. It gives great shading. And just up, so. And I'm going to tickle it just under the eye. Now I'm not going to make this too tricky for you guys today at home. Or for me, for that matter. Mm. <laughs> a little tickle. We'll make it as easy as. I should do the other eye, that'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? No, that'd be good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I reckon you can do the other eye, Max. I don't want to shock everyone, we're trying to make this look as if it's really super easy. I love how you do your makeup. Do you? I do, I always do. Well, I always. Even do when I do put a bit of coloured eyeliner pencil on, which used to freak mm. me out just completely. Look, just look up, so. Oh, that's so, so nice, look at that. So that just makes her eye pop. It does. Remember when we were at the Oscars together? We, yes, I do. Just look up at the sky. What's that? What are you doing there? What I'm just doing here is tidying up just under the eye. Is that wet? No, no, that's just my little foundation brush. So you've got a bit of foundation yeah. to just lighten up. Now, my cream. There's a trick, everybody. I didn't know you yeah. do that. Well, it's just yeah, my little tidy up brush. Okay. It's my little eraser. Yep. Yep, so okay, we've got our cream eyeliner. This is a brown by Sex Cosmetics. Just look up. And I'm going to rim the inside of Sof's eye. This is sometimes a little bit. Is there a trick to do to make your eyes not water when you do that? Do you know what? Like onions? In the <laughs> 28 years I've been doing makeup, some people can stand there and have the eye as straight as, and then sometimes they water. Yeah, because so I always have one of these. I never touch oh. my plants. Oh, that's not working. 
So I just love that. So it's just a little powder puff. And so if my client does go to Oh, it's good, doesn't it? I can grab them. Just look at them. Mm. They're so super professional, look at that. Oh, and then on the inner corner. Right in that corner. And see how they just made the wrap up? Yeah, yeah. How we can soak. If you've got watery eyes, soak a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just look up. Yeah, I get that too. So I've just been watching this this show, The Game of Thrones. My God, I haven't it's, watched it yet. Everybody, I've heard it's like Z show, and I'm very behind the times. Well, I had a few clients ask for the makeup, yeah. so of course yeah. I have to go and Google, and that happens a yeah. lot sometimes. There's about a thousand pictures of this girl. Yeah. They're all behind me on the screen. She's amazing. Yeah. So last, I stood up till midnight watching her, and she's Daenerys. Done. We've Daenerys. been trying to work out how to say it. Yeah, so can we say it wrong? Don't write in and go. No, you know. write in and, and we don't know. <laughs> language and yeah. that's what I'm like wow yeah but she ate a horse's heart so what yeah and it gave her strength and it was really oh my goodness I, I think I'm a the show she didn't really she do didn't, that she didn't, what yeah it's part of the ritual of her becoming the queen and oh but in the show she didn't really no 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 no, no 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 not Amelia I'm Amelia, say, Amelia, Amelia you would never eat that, a actually. horse's Amelia is gorgeous in oh, her life oh. so that's the only thing I'm going to teach you how to do the um Amelia look, the natural look too, well, darker eyes. Just look up for me. But yeah, wow, she ate his heart. And um, oh, what I love, it's a real love story because he's a barbarian. And so basically, when she's um, told to be told by her kooky brother, sorry if anyone likes the kooky brother, mm -hmm. he freaks me out a bit. Um, she's told to marry this barbarian and um, they fall in love. Is this set in ancient times or something? Well, in it's in a, another land, you know, where there's lots oh, yeah. of fantasy land. Yeah, lots of lots of different places. I think there's seven different um, there's seven different places, and they're all fighting for the throne. That's the So everyone, what is really happening here? I mean, I know we're showing this celebrity thing and all that sort of stuff, but Nikki's actually doing this for a real shoot for MX magazine. And James, who is being our cameraman today here, is the photographer. I think you should film yourself yeah, in the mirror. Yeah, so there he is. One of I've ever shot with. So it's kind of a whole thing, and he's going to I'll take some pictures and put them up on the website and show you what she's been doing. But what, how do we finish this off? Okay, so what we've got here, you can start to see how the eye is really getting a great pop to it. Look at that power. And this is the whole colouring system of the whole show. It's so really you just earthy just... and organic. So did you and just raw. use that first kit, this one? Yeah, all I've used so far is number one and number two. And that's it so far. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm, just, I'm not going to use number three. Not that I don't like it. Do you put a bit three. of number four under the brow? Because that's what I would do. Yes. Oh, I should let you do number four. You know what to do. So this, I'm just really going to smudge in. Just look up for me. So I'm going to smudge in this. See, look at this. Now, there's two ways of doing this because Sax has created... I should have done the other eye. That would have been so be. funny. Hey, let's do that next time. All right. I'll, I'll teach you how to do a makeup, and then we'll see if you can do it. All right. Yeah. That'd be fun. I did that with Paul once, everybody. I know. I saw that. That was funny. Paul, oh, my husband. I actually sat there laughing my head off. He was he's so bad. He was so was bad. Was he? Oh, I wouldn't. I thought he was bad. I feel like yeah. This is a rubber. They, these have got a built-in rubber. So if you are stuck oh. and you've just got this in your makeup bag, you're fine. Really? Yeah. Just look up, so, so you can blend it in with this. And it rubs it in, so a real little smudger. And um, I would smudge every eyeliner in. I've never seen it before, is that a bit of a sex special That's thing? A, a sex special. Nice. Yeah, quite fun with the sex. Now, this is our last one. This is a Tahitian summer, my favorite, and voted in Australia. It's one of the most favorite ones. I'm a bit of a go. Honestly. Now, easy with it. Oh yeah, I knew you. It's a good color. So like you've just been to Tahiti, baby. Yeah. Alright, so um, <laughs> this is a good shader. You can use it as a big... I like that. That's a nice brush. brush. You can use it as... Uh, yeah, or this is a great shader. So if you want to get... Um, Not like baby just whacked it everywhere to give myself yeah. a bit of a so, tape. But, but I saw how you did that. But what you can do with this, you can actually shade off someone's whole face. Look at that. And this is why we and, go to a makeup artist yeah. everybody so, instead of... And we can, we can recreate the whole face. So what we're doing... Oh yeah, it makes yeah. your cheekbones yeah. look high. Yeah, no, you don't go too high up. 
but always blend. Now, if you've got a little bit of a... How do you blend? You've got to keep moving the product so all of a sudden it just looks like a pretty picture and no strong lights. Apart from the 80s, I love the 80s. We mm. used to get those strong, strong cheekbones. And I like to blend it all up, all up through the hairline. Yeah, because there's nothing yeah. worse than that, definitely. Yeah, no, if you're, or if you're feeling a little, well, if you're feeling a little chubby, Sophie never yeah, has Speak right? up, come on. Yeah. I'm on my 39 day diet at the moment. Oh, day cool. four. How's it going? That's all right. I want to do the machine. Oh, 39 days. days till I have to be in a bikini in Europe, so that is it. Bang. Ah, oh, see? Day four, you'll that's, see my video that's on much, that later. Once you're on your own, you're like donkey, donkey, calm. That's you. Okay, so see how the cheese. Now, this is a trick too with this one. They actually, um, I shade a lot with this. And you can shade down the nose. Watch this. She did this to me the other day. Yeah. And I, I actually do that with a bit. I do have another brush that... Does that make your nose look slimmer? Is that yeah. the deal? Yeah, but it also... When you do a makeup, you don't want to have... Oh, I'm out looking like this bashed, bruised woman, I think. <laughs> you, don't, yeah, you don't want to have eyes, nose and mouth. You yeah. want it all to just morph in as one beautiful, beautiful picture. See how you can all just... Okay, so I'm just finishing off with some mascara. And this is an all day, all night. Is it waterproof? Emma, don't get this one. It's all day and all night. I'm assuming I can go to the movies and have a cry with that mascara. Do you think? know what? With sex cosmetics, they usually do most waterproof. So I hate that. I hate going to the movies and you cry <laughs> and you come out looking like a raccoon. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I and do. then, and then I at the do. opening night, they say, and how did you feel about that movie? And going, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, clearly, look at me. It was a great hit. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking like a mess. It took me 10 goes of seeing Wicked not to cry. Oh, oh, oh I have. Now I can see it and I don't cry. Okay, well, I've had false lashes done the day that we did the opening night for Wicked. And she said to me, you're not allowed to get them wet. So I'm <laughs> sitting there with Wicked, wanting to absolutely oh, hyperventilate, thinking I think it was $160 lashes. See, so I was probably take for beauty. Yeah, girls. trying to dab that. And anyway, so I, I saw it again. And I how it my so. So. Okay, so this is just a beautiful little gentle lip Oh my glass. God, I thought you were putting that on her eyes. I thought, Nikki. You can. What? Yeah. Where? Well, you could. Right. We don't want to go for a glossy. Yeah, well, not that one in particular, but we do have a product that's, um, it's a creamy product and you put it on your eyes and it makes it really... But it's not lip gloss. No, Surely. that's not lip gloss. No, you don't put lip gloss on your eyes, everybody. Some people have. I don't. I was thinking that's what she meant, were you? I, I did. did. Do you know what? I probably have once if I was really desperate and I was back of bush really? and forgot my makeup. Yeah, because it, it gives you that beautiful... I put blusher gloss. on my eyes on my Legally Blonde interviews the other night because <laughs> I forgot to take my silver eyeshadow in. I'm going to have to set you up. I'm with not that. naked with that. I'm going to give you your um, emergency kit now that you are a rock star YouTuber. <laughs> okay, so, so we're going to take you a right. step now and we're going to shoot you. I'm going to show you a photo shoot now and what happens. And you're going yeah. to see this man. Behind the scenes. Yeah, what happens? So much fun, isn't it? Yes. I love so my everybody, job. don't forget, what's your YouTube name? My YouTube name is Nikki Reed Makeup. Pretty and nice. I'll, I'll put a link under here and you can find her then. So she's not going to be on my channel every week. She's going to be on her own channel and you'll and be able you, to find her there. if anyone wants me to do a makeup or you have any questions, you say, I oh. want to know how to do that, I, I'll take her. You make me look like Oprah. <laughs> I love Oprah. I love how yeah. she does her eyes. I, I love her. She, she does great makeup. She is beautiful. <laughs> she has lots of, lots of lashes. I'm your second best friend now. <laughs> So they're doing like a little Polaroid type shot thing. Okay, straight to camera so I can see the light. Can relax your mouth a bit. Maybe looking away from camera and we're just going to check makeup. So this is very exciting, makeup. isn't it, everybody? Eyes lower for me. Lower, lower. Okay, and so see how, see how it comes up here, mate. That looks. Oh, and what am I looking? Okay, so you can see oh, how yeah, they're it doing comes a bit up. of a check. Oh yeah. wow! Look. And for everyone at home, I've worked with James for years, and his work very rarely. There's James, everyone. What's, he, what's your last name, James? James? Pepino. Okay, I'll yeah. put James's website under here as well, so you can all he's find very it. Clever. Yes. And he doesn't have to retouch much because he is a genius. But with <laughs> makeup, of course. For everyone at home, what actually happens here? is we shoot the model and we do put it mainly into um, Photoshop too, just to make it even that little bit more. Yeah, finish off the whole. Yeah. Really. yeah. So this is Not going in MX work, Magazine when? On Monday? Friday? Yeah, when? Monday. It'll be on Monday, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll so put the get... link to, is so that an online magazine as well? I don't no, know. No, I'm pretty sure it's just a print. All right, I'll scan it in and, and yeah. put a link or something. Yeah. 
So, yeah. so here they are. That's where we are. Okay. So I think with the eyes down, we get the full makeup look. Okay. Um, and just working slowly off shoulder, which is great. Okay, this is just a special last bit, everybody. <laughs> I'm filming. Nikki's doing a last quick makeup. This is this is the brunette, magazine. and it's the brunette Daenerys. Yeah, this is Amelia Clark. Oh, this is Amelia Amelia Clark. Yeah. Oh, this is a different one now. So this, this is she is in Game of Thrones as well? She is. She is uh, the main character, but she um, someone asked me to actually do her normal look. Oh, that gotcha. is what she looks like when she's out and about red carpet. Oh, okay. And um, Beck here. It's an extra and then exactly. eyebrow thing. But everybody, we have to cut this short because You're I right. have to cook dinner and I've got friends coming over and Nikki has got a big shoot coming up. I've got a massive shoot. So this is behind the scenes. This is behind the scenes and I've got five minutes to do this makeup. But what we'll do, we'll put it up on the page because um, it's going to look hot and you yeah. want to see it. But you'll see this in the makeup. I'm actually building up her brows quite strongly because Amelia has strong brows. All right. Say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Yeah.